Hi everyone, I am going to make an original page today in my mixed media notebook and I'm going to use this to uh, scrapbook paper and they are not really my thing but what I figured is that they can be a really nice frame to my page. So what I'm going to do is trim uh, this to uh, papers so I can use them as a frame and I'm just going to start cutting them down and oh, of course I forgot to get my cutting mat but here it is and so I'm not really measuring I'm just kind of eyeballing this uh, it really doesn't matter to me I want I just want it as a frame so if you know me I'm just using um, the lines on the mat as a guide and that's it without measuring so let's see Oops, went offside. So I've already have this. It's going to frame this part of my page and I really don't need all of this, but it, it will just give the, my page a nice firm a hold so I'm going to glue all this down and now I'm going to take the other uh, and I'm going to uh, leave the gluing down when I'm off camera because it's just boring and drying is all, always boring so I'm just going to show you how I'm planning my frame for this page so again I'm going to trim here because I really don't want it to cover this part and I'm just let's see if I have got something yeah a stylus okay so I'm just doing uh, some kind of indentation like so so I can see what I'm keeping and what I'm cutting something like that and it really doesn't matter I'm planning on going in with a gesso to cover uh, several things and just to make everything come together so it really doesn't matter Let's see. Yeah, something like that. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to glue this down. And when it's uh, dry, I'll come back and we'll start our page. I'm back. So I'm not sure if it's completely dry, but I think it's enough for me to work on it. And I've got here gesso. I've got a uh, deco art. A burnt a uh, umber and I've got here blue crimson a uh, Persian blue and I'm going to start with this sponge and I'm going to wet it a little bit if my spray bottle will yeah decided it it's going to work so I'm uh, starting uh, to cover the middle with gesso I don't uh, want all this uh, detail and I want to push it into the background I want my background a little bit uh, larger than what I've got right now and this needs uh, to stay as a frame and part of it I want it again to fade into the background and I also want something that will 
connect the two pieces of paper I've got here and I really like why am I uh, using gesso and not white paint is because uh, I like how to explain I, I like the texture of it I like that it's chalky um, and matte so that's why I'm using the gesso instead of just white paint of course you can use white paint if that's what you uh, prefer to use so I'm already starting uh, to have a more a uh, here in terms of a uh, place to uh, make my page and everything else is supposed to stay in the frame now I'm going to uh, gently dip into the the brown very little and now I want it incorporated into the white gesso in several places I want uh, I don't want a complete white so again I'm dipping just a little bit and I'm giving my uh, white a variation and more interest again dipping into the brown and now uh, the same thing I'm going to do with my blue and if it's too intense I'm just adding from the gesso to tone it down I'm just playing until I'm satisfied with the overall uh, look this is a the background my place that is going to be to encompass whatever a focal image I'm going to put on my page so I'm working on it to be interesting as much as I've got al already I've got something to frame my page and I'm going a little bit off very very gently all over the frame So I'm turning everything down and also trying a, to make the whole thing a more a cohesive and right now it's not there yet. <laughs> so working on it. Let's take a, a step back. Sometimes you just need to a step back to see the whole thing well I'm going to let this dry and I'm thinking after it's dry I'll be more a uh, I will know more a uh, how to continue with this page I've got some general idea but <laughs> I'm not sure yet because as I said I'm really trying to keep the frame but uh, but uh, have a distinctive um, area here to work with and let's see maybe a little bit more white in the middle okay I'm leaving it be and I'm letting it dry and then I'll come back with uh, and we'll continue. I'm back. So I want to uh, glue down here a part of a paper napkin. I've got this paper napkin that I already removed the two plies from the back. And first I thought I will fussy cut 
uh, the flowers but it's just too much and uh, it's good that it's on a white background that means that when gluing it will almost disappear into the background so what I'm going to do is glue this uh, as is then trim uh, the excess and I'm using a regular white G uh, glue that I just uh, added a little bit of water so it won't be um, so thick and it just helps uh, with napkins that's how, how it's sliding and not dragging the napkin and tearing it apart and I'm putting a very a thin a layer of glue here here we go don't really care about wrinkles wrinkles are great I think it just adds to the whole thing and now as you can see just putting down glue on top and I'm sliding my paintbrush and using the flat of it of the brush that's how you don't tear uh, your paper napkins almost disappeared into the background almost but ju that's just the beginning and I'm planning on so much more so let's hope everything will get in one video so uh, waiting for this to dry to trim the excess I now want to add another thing for another from another paper napkin I've got this hummingbird that I just love so I'm going to fussy cut it and glue it here on my page. I'm just not sure if I want it to the right or to the left. I've got on both sides and whoa, really don't know. We'll see. So eh, fussy cutting again, boring. I will do it off camera and I'll come back. I'm back so I was going to fussy cut the hummingbird but then I've decided that I want to keep the hummingbird and this uh, flower here and to incorporate them here and instead of fussy cutting I'm going to go with a thin a paintbrush and a little bit of water like so so I can uh, tear the image from the paper napkin with so there won't be straight edges here we go like this I hope I'm in frame and again here when you don't have a uh, straight edges from the scissors it's easier to blend a paper napkin into the background I'm not really concerned about it uh, blending into the background but it can't hurt to do it this way instead of the fussy cutting with scissors And of course you can also use your fingers and remove parts that you don't like and here again don't want this straight line and here yeah so again putting down glue going uh, over 
part of this paper napkin in the hopes that everything will work together if you've been following me you know that I work a lot with paper napkins and that I really like to uh, layer them and use the transparency to my advantage here we go Humming, hummingbird and a flower here so again this needs to dry but I want to uh, add some texture to this whole thing and I uh, don't know if do I need for the glue to be dry before I'm putting down modeling paste or a joint compound which is what I'm using always instead of modeling paste uh, it's better that I will let it dry <laughs> although I'm quite impatient so I'll let it dry and I'll come back I'm back so uh, it uh, the paper napkins blended quite so uh, well uh, with my background I just wanted to show you that uh, it can still be worked if it doesn't and sometimes it depends on the quality of the paper napkin and how thick it is now I've got here a, a bit of a green and if I want to uh, blend it more I'm just going in with the gesso like I've done the background like this and I'm just making it uh, disappear again blending it more Just so there won't be any uh, harsh lines uh, between elements on my page. If it's the scrapbook paper underneath, if and if it's the paper napkins. So that's uh, about this. Now I want to stamp a little bit around to add more interest to my background. I've got this hand handwritten script that I'm just uh, going to stamp here and a little bit here yeah so next what i wanted to do is add some texture and blend more my uh, elements on my page i've got this a uh, stencil uh, almost like what is it a uh, beehive and i've got my a uh, wall compound or joint compound I'm ju it's just uh, cheaper uh, to buy than modeling paste and I like working with it you can also use wood filler joint uh, combined whatever uh, plaster of Paris whatever it's called in your uh, part of the world so let's see I'm going to do some here My palette knife is not so good. I'm going to replace it with something else. Here we go. Okay, now it's working. And I'm just doing a thin layer. here a 
it's just random where I think I more interest is needed there is no explanation <laughs> to, to where I'm putting this stuff and just a little bit here So this really needs to uh, dry before I'm attempting anything else. So again, I'll be back. I'm back and I want to color this uh, texture, but uh, I don't want to use sprays. I don't want my whole page to get uh, drenched uh, with wet stuff and with color. I really like what is happening right now. I just want my texture to be more interesting. So I'm going to attempt to use the brown and the blue that I've used in the background. And I'm diluting them with water. And I'm using a fine brush. And I'm going to try to add uh, the color like this and i need more water i don't want it quite intense as it is right now maybe and i need um where is my baby wipes to tone it down yeah without spraying the whole stuff the whole page yeah this is it So uh, now I'm taking a little bit from the brown. And turning it down where I think it needs to. Maybe I, sh I should have uh, used a... Watercolors, I don't know, it's just some kind of experimenting again, putting down color on it without a going all over the background that I really like. So I'm alternating between the blue and the brown and even mixing a little bit between them. And I think it's giving me quite a nice uh, hues in between. Too much. Okay. So I probably should have uh, used something like watercolors. But I'll just manage with what I've got right now and just using the baby wipe when I think it's just too much. Water, 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 because I've just put too much. Here I go.
basically this is it I'm not uh, going to add anything else to my page I really like how it turned out and well I think this is it maybe I should just a uh, darken the edges but I'm thinking I'm leaving it be I really like it I can live without the edges uh, being more a uh, oh I've got here I almost forgot I've got this part also and again too much color yeah this is it that's my page I really really like it and I'm thinking now I'm just going to stamp something and where is it i put it aside don't care if it will be prominent on the page i just want it here fly away it says yeah here it is that's it that's my page oh i like it when something comes together like you want okay so that's my page I really hope you liked it and I hope it will give you some ideas to play in your art journals and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now